All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here, and today we're actually going to be doing a pack opening, which we haven't done in a while. I unfortunately did not make it to the uh, World Series division because it was like kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but well actually not, not really at all. I just didn't pay attention to it. I've gotten there so easily the past two times, or the prior two times to this, uh, or previous two times, I don't know which word is right. And I finally just let it happen till it was the last day and I was like, oh shoot, I need to do it because I was only at like 700, like 60 something, 770 something. So then I won like six games straight and I got to like 877 or 875 or something. Then I lost because I gave up five runs in the, uh, in the eighth inning and to put him up by one and I didn't come back so and that was like with literally like an hour maybe two hours left I'm not really sure and then I just gave up so I only got uh, the the middle thing and also um, like two live series gold players or something so we're gonna open this up and see like exactly what we get. I'm really pissed at myself because I would have gotten that 98 overall Miguel Cabrera card which I've been looking for a replacement for Nolan Arenado because like I, I love Arenado. He's an amazing fielder. I love his fielding but I just I'm not that great of a hitter with him. He's, a, he's kind of a tough hitter to hit with so I was really hoping to get that third base Miguel Cabrera card but I didn't so we're gonna have to settle for keeping Arenado for now and we're gonna open up this pack if it ever loads and we got two all-star series packs and then three bases loaded packs and we got Charlie Blackman which he's gonna go diamond probably which is awesome and then we got Ryan Braun who I actually don't have which is actually pretty solid because he's like maybe like 15k too I'm not sure um, then we got uh, a stripes stars stars and stripes arm sleeve uh, that's uh, not that bad and then we got the Tim Lincecum. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. The Tim Lincecum card. Holy moly, my, my nose is like a little bit stuffed because it's the morning. And that always happens to me. But, you know what? That's fine. We got Blackman. We got two. I'm happy with the gold players that we got. And we're going to actually uh, open up one of the... No, we'll go bases loaded. See what happens. If we don't get anything in these, really, I might open up some other stuff. Okay, so we get three different things. Three packs from like previous stuff if you didn't know. I'll read it off Hold on, on the next one. Standard set of seven, have a chance of All-Star Jose Reyes or All-Star Legend Burt Blylevin, which would be awesome, both of those. Same thing, and then a rookie series. I'm not too happy about that. We could get rookie flashback Puig or rookie flashback Aroldis Chapman, which actually, that's really good, but not the best packs. Um, hold on, I'll read it off. Packs in a pack. One previously released promo pack or one standard pack bundle, 10, 20, or 50. So I'd love to get a 50 pack. That would be insane. Uh, plus two guaranteed standard packs from a random set. Okay. Let's open up both of these now. And we got a standard pack from two, which is flashback Chris Bryant and rookie flashback Noah Syndergaard. Uh, set four, breakout legend Kyle Ripken Jr., which would be huge. Or breakout legend Matt Latos, I don't know how you say that. And then we got an April 28th bases loaded pack with guaranteed Griffey equipment item. We would love to get those cleats even though I already have them, um, but we could sell them for a good amount. Double the chance of a gold player, triple the chance of a diamond player, and that's pretty solid. And then let's open up this last July 14th pack in a pack, bases loaded, and we get a set seven, which is you could get rookie legend Roberto Alomar, and, or rookie flashback David Wright another oh no that was set one this is set seven with a, another Jose Reyes and Burt Bly 11 one June 2nd um, contains four player items including a single guaranteed impact veteran or breakout series player that's solid that's actually pretty dope I'd love to get a breakout player and possibly sell them but well now let's open up I guess one of the all-star packs might as well See what we get in these. We got Johnny Peralta. Are you serious? And then silvers. Oh, I forgot there's a bunch of players in these packs. Looks like we got a couple silvers, but then a whole lot of bronzes. A whole lot of bronzes. There's 25 players in these packs, if you didn't know. That is a lot of players. 
got Adam Jones, it's not bad. Jordan Walden, Devin Maraz, Mazzarocco, sorry. Uh, the Johnny Peralta, that's just really disappointing. Eric Ibar. We'll open up this other All-Star Series pack, see if we get anyone. Melky Cabrera. I don't know how much he goes for. I don't think he goes for a lot. We got a bunch of silvers, Ryan Dole, Josh Fields, Julio Tehran. I don't know how you pronounce that. Liam Hendricks, a bunch of bronzes and commons. No diamonds here, no golds here either besides the Cabrera card. All right, not the best, but here we go. Now what should we do? Should we just go from the left? Hopefully we get one of these special cards that are in these packs. Set number one, and it looks like we got Ichiro and no one. Okay. This one, Hardware Flashback Chris Bryant, that would be fantastic. And Rookie Flashback Noah Syndergaard. Noah Syndergaard. And we got no one. Okay. Rookie Series. This is a chance to find exclusive Rookie Series pack players. Rookie, seri rookie Flashback uh, Yasiel Puig. Or Aroldis Chapman, which would be huge. I would love that Chapman card. He goes for so much. And we did get a rookie Christian Yelich card. I think I already had him. I think I have that rookie card. Here we go. Triple the chance of a diamond player guaranteed Griffey thing. And we got the Griffey bat, which probably goes for absolutely nothing. Look at, okay. Breakout series, legend Cal Ripken Jr. or Matt Latos. I'd love to get that. Absolutely love to get that. Oh, we got a diamond sponsorship. Shoot. That's not what I was looking for. Diamond sponsorship? We're gonna we're gonna open up that one last. Okay, so we have three of these packs. Uh, a chance to get All-Star Flashback Jose Reyes and All-Star Legend Burt Blylevin. I'd love to get that Reyes card. I don't know if I would sell it. I don't know what I would do with it, but that is a ridiculous card. Looks like we got a pretty good... Uh, Silver. We got Jonathan Lucroy, which I did not have, which he probably still goes for a decent amount, even though he just did get downgraded to his silver. I think he went from 85 to 83, but that's solid. You know what? I'll take that. And looks like we don't get anyone here. Let's see. How about this one? Nope. Nope. Dang. No one. None. None of the. None of the special cards in that one. And then we got this last one. Contains four players, including a single guaranteed impact veteran or breakout series player. So this is huge. This is huge. This could be a good one. Could be a good one. Oh, we got a bronze. We got a bronze breakout. Brett Cecil. I'm gonna have to go check how much he is worth because I already do have that card, but. Here, hold on. This is how I check breakout cards. Just go to my player epics. Go to my Eddie Matthews. I think I have 44. Yeah, I have 44. There's a Brett Cecil. He probably only goes for like 1k. 685. Jeez. Okay, well, we're gonna go 684. 6, 8, oh shoot, 8, 4. There we go. We can make 616 off that. A little bit of a profit. And then we're gonna check that Melky Cabrera card, because I don't know exactly how much he's gonna go for. And Melky only goes for 2,000. And I... I don't know what I'm gonna even do with him. Why is this Jason Giambi? That's a crap card. I would not want to have that card. It has 99 power versus righties, but not worth 60k. There are actually a lot in all, a lot of all-star players. Like, there's new, the new Craig Kimbrell. There's three 99s. That Yachty Molina. Burt Blylevin, Craig Kimbrell, this Beltre card, jeez, there's so many, this Tony Perez card is nasty too, and it's a third base card, which I would actually need, and I could get that very easily, but, I don't know, I don't think the fielding's exactly what I want on that card, but, anyways, I think that's gonna be it. Alright, the Ryan Braun card, by the way, is only 6,800, I could finish the Brewers set pretty easily and probably only spend like a couple thousand, maybe a thousand stubs. So, that's pretty dope, but, um, I don't know, it, it was, it was a very average pack opening, nothing special, but you know what, it's gonna happen. Alright, we're just gonna open up one of these new standard set, uh, packs, because they, they have a chance to that new Orlando Cepeda card, which is like 97, 98, I'm not sure, and then the 99 overall Yadier Molina, so, 
let's just, I mean, maybe I'll get some luck. I don't know. But that would be pretty crazy if I did. And I did not. I didn't at all. Whatever. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for today. You know, thank you all for watching so much. Oops. Need to shine some light on me. But, you know, that wasn't the pack opening we were looking for. But I'll do, I'll probably do another one in the future real soon. Because, why not? I, I love doing pack openings. And they they're, they seem to be a pretty fun thing to watch. I, I like watching other people open packs, too. But, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys did. Subscribe here if you are new. And as always, I hope you're all having a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.